Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to you, Back in Triumph Radio. And uh, today I'm doing the follow-up video on programming the UV82 MK5 from Meerkit Radio um, for repeaters. So just, I recommend you pause this here and there on these slides just to take note of what's going on here. But uh, let's dive into this. So let's, uh, let's work on programming a local repeater here. Um, I turn it on. And uh, do to do, do. Let's get in here a little closer. Okay, now that the blue's back off, you can see the screen. It says uh, you, you can see the numbers off here: fourteen and nine. Those are channels. What I want to do is get to the the VFO mode. And how do you get to the VM, VFO mode on this radio? Notice there is no button here. Um, you turn off the radio. The VFO is the mode that you guys use. It's just like variable frequency oscillation or oscillator. And that gives you the ability to just kind of scan punch and frequencies without going to a specific channel. So hold down on the menu button, turn on the radio. Frequency mode. Frequency mode, VFO, same thing. So now I can punch in frequencies. So let's uh let's hit one, one four, four seven. seven two zero zero. Sweet. I'm gonna go back and change my power to low. Now I'm gonna go into menu because I want to set this up so it works with my repeater. This is where we're gonna get to our settings. I hate these beeps, so I'm turning those off. Uh, you can. I love this. Off. So this is our shift. Now, um, this this repeater that we have here in town, I believe, is a positive. So um, that means it. In order to key up the repeater, not only do I use the tone of eighty-eight point five hertz on CTCSS. The uh, frequency I need to use to keep the repeaters 147.8 megahertz. So that means that I need my shift to be positive from the frequency that I'm using to listen. So now is where I'm going to program in the, the actual shift. I'm going to hit menu to open it up the editing. Hit zero, 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 six, zero, zero, and press menu again to save it. The receive uh, codes, often you won't really think too much about using um, in ham radio community. So um, the one we need to use is a tone, a PL tone to access your repeater. So our repeater here is uh, a tone on a CTS, CTCSS or, uh, of 88.5. So you can actually punch that in, 88.5. You can hit your buttons to, and go up to it, but if you know your, your tone, you can just punch it in as well. It's really kind of a cool feature. Confirm. So press menu to save it. So now, as far as get, uh, programming for repeaters, I don't have to do anything else. So I like to test it before I go into the menu to change it. So I'm gonna exit and top button. Line A, right? KI seven WJP. I've successfully keyed up the repeater. Announced my call sign. You know you should do that. So I know it works now. I can hear it, and it can hear me. Um, now I'm going to go hit the menu and I'm going to save it. So menu, all the channels that are occupied will say CH. You can see that 127 is not occupied. Channel zero is occupied with some unknown frequency. Um, so I want to use that as my home freq my home repeater. So I'm going to use that as actually zero. So I'm going to hit menu and now 
that is saved under channel 000. Um, I'm going to exit out of here. And I'm going to turn the radio off. Oops, forgot. Hit menu, turn the radio on. And now, see if you can see that. We're back into channel mode. Okay, there it is. C0, channel mode. Back to the nine. And so you can see now that there's an offset. Whenever there's a positive or negative offset or shift, um, the positive and negative sign will show up together. And you know what's really cool? It's saved at the low power. And this, this repeater antenna is above my house, just a few miles. So um, I don't need any power really to get to it. I can operate that that repeater like a tenth of a watt if I wanted to. So um, anyway, that repeater, we know that works. We tested it. And now if I hit ex exit slash AB toggle, I can just hit zero, 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 and there we go. I know that that's saved in channel zero. So uh, that is the essentials of programming this radio. Uh, very straightforward. You don't need to get into all the other menu items, honestly. Um, they're just kind of these extra, extra features that you may or may not find useful. Um, so that's this field programming this radio is gonna be the same. Um, you know, to enter and exit, channel mode, frequency mode, you just have to turn off the radio and hit menu, turn it back on. And since it doesn't have the voice, you notice it didn't say frequency mode or channel mode. Um, but every time you do that, it toggles between those two modes, which I find that perfectly adequate. So in uh, probably the next video I do about this, we'll talk a little bit about antennas for these things. And we'll probably go over signal reports and all that stuff. So um, hopefully that was useful for you and it, it will get you up and going. As I progress through the video series with these, uh, I will hopefully have this out in the field and I can show you some more field testing and, uh, and get some conversations going on the air. All right. All right. Thank you all for stopping by and checking out this video. I'll have some more on this radio. But anyway, this is the UV82 full house package from Meerkit, and it's uh, so far so good. Thank you for joining.